didn't you say, Sally? Oh, nothing. Gee, isn't it great we made the front page? And with your father. But look, they got your name under my picture and my name under yours. Well, at least they gave tonight's pep rally a big play. Right. Well, I'll let you off here, Mary Louise. See you at the gym at three for practice. Okay, Sally. Thanks for the ride. Bye. Guess that car wasn't following me. Oh, uh, miss. Yes? Can you tell me the way to Maple Street? Well, sir, I don't think there is a... <coughs> <coughs> It's only the beginning for you, Sally Sergeant. Code name G16. Special assignment secret government agent in the fight against organized crime. True identity adopted daughter of a distinguished United States senator. Real name Sally Sergeant. Coming now with that Sally Sergeant. Surely you wouldn't harm her, Mr. Stark. She's just a girl. Just a girl that got me in the prison with the help of your testimony. I was a witness to your crime. I only did my duty as a citizen. You should have stuck to being an actor in the monster movies, Mr. Boris Bartok. Now I'm gonna get you and Sally Sergeant and her father, the Senator. Here she is, Rico. What? Blaster, you idiot. That's not Sally, Sergeant. It's the dame whose picture was in the paper you give me. Let me see. I didn't even read it. They got the names mixed up. What do we do now, Rico? Hmm. This here pep rally gives me an idea, Blaster. Yeah. <laughs> A real good idea. <laughs> We're almost through with the float, Sally. Gee, Rick, that's groovy. Let's see. First the parade, then to the field, the bonfire ceremony. Gee, Sally, I think it's neat that your dad had come back from Washington to officiate at the rally. He's glad too, Rick. You know how he digs football. Uh-oh, Sally's got to buzz off. There goes her alarm clock again. I'm sorry, Rick. Bye. But Sally's lock and alarm watch was in reality a secret radio hotline to the headquarters of the nation's security agency. This is Agent G-16. Come in, please. Sally, this is Blake Jamison at headquarters. Your father is with me. Oh, hi, Mr. Jamison. Hi, Dad. Good evening, dear. We're calling to warn you that Rico Stark is back in the country and maybe in the Doverport area. That's right, Sally. We don't know what he's up to, but he might just attempt to get even with Boris Bartok, or your father, or maybe even you, Sally. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I'll be on the lookout and report back. And I'll see you tonight, Dad. Right, Sally. Kilo will pick me up in the security agency plane. Over and out. This is G-16 clear. Hey. Is that kid waking up? Nah, not yet. But what are we gonna do, Rico, huh? Blaster? 
What do you like to do best? I like to blow up things. <laughs> yeah. You see this here torch the senator's going to use to light the bonfire at the pep rally? Yeah. And Sally will be right next to him? Yeah, yeah. Well, inside the handle, we got dynamite. Blam, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> Those beans. There. That does it. Now, if we can get Mr. Bartok to make like a monster, boy, we'll have a real great float. Mr. Rick, Mr. Rick. Hiya, Kilo. How's the sergeant's favorite Hawaiian gardener? Very well, thank you. But where is Miss Sally? I don't know. Her dumb alarm clock rang, and she took off over that way someplace, and... Oh, here she comes back again. What's up, Kilo? I'm on my way to airport to get your father, but stopped to tell you Mary Louise's father called to say she is missing. If you believe today's paper, this is Mary Louise. It's Sally who isn't here. That sounds bad, Kilo. Headquarters advised me that Rico Stark is in town. And with the mix-up in the paper, oh, that could mean trouble for Mary Louise. You want help, G-16? No, Kilo. I think I can handle it myself. And I'd better start at Boris Bartok's house. And so, as Kilo, a secret agent like Sally herself, flew to Washington to bring Senator Sargent back for the rally, Sally investigated. Hmm, that car again. For pity's sake, Stark, help the poor child. I'll help her, and you. As soon as we finish with Sally Sargent and the Senator. <laughs> Two nice sticks of dynamite in here. And in that crowd, we'll be sure he gets this torch. Dynamite? My fa- Oh, and we got another little visitor here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, sister, freeze. Well, Sally Sargent. You'll never get away with this, Rico Star. <laughs> <laughs> They made me a prisoner in my own house. And you know the rest. Well, we're gonna be leaving now. And since we won't be needing this hideout no more, we're gonna get rid of it and all of you. There. And when we're a mile away, blam! <laughs> oh, what will we do? I could just reach. There! There! I'll try to stop them. You help poor Mary Louise. Eternal flame, we relay the torch of victory. Here comes your light, Senator. I'd feel better if Sally were here. Stop! Stop! Don't! Don't use that torch, Dad! Senator, sir, something is wrong. Quick, blaster, light it anyhow and give it to him. Dad! Dad, the torch! Don't let him light it! It's dynamite! Dynamite? Those men! Come on, blaster. Let's get him, Kilo! And this is for you, Rico Stark! It's certainly nice of you gentlemen to be our chaperone. It is an honor. I'm just glad you're all right, Mary Louise. <sighs> So am I. It was awful. 
And Sally, Blake Jameson is just delighted you took Rico Stark out of circulation again. And I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks, Dad. Shall we, Princess? Love to, Rick.